Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Savoie here in EU4 Common Sense. We still haven't found the patch yet. Twitch chat's going to keep eyes on the patch and let me know when it rolls out so we can roll it into this game um, before we continue too far. I mean, at the moment, we haven't really done anything that affects uh, that would be fixed by the patch anyway, other than watch the AI derp around a lot. Uh, but so far, we've been fine. We're playing as Savoy. We have taken over two provinces from Provence. We took his capital and we took Dar Dragurian, or whatever it's called. Drag Draguignan? Dragwig. Oh my god, I can't pronounce this. It's now Drag Queen. There you go. We took Drag Queen in Provence. And I think over here, the war with the Ottomans will result in Hungary getting some land, because he probably has a claim. Yeah, he's got a claim here. He'll probably take some land. Castile is kicking some grenade in butthole. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to wait the five years and then just full an X. Because he can't land troops on Tunis. He just can't. Golden Horde has declared on Muscovy. Okay. Oh yeah, you mean Muscovy that's nice and strong now? Whoa, look at Poland. Poland just took Donkzig. Hey, good job, Poland. that give you a lot of AE? No. Actually, he has very little AE for that. 22 at the most. That's not bad. So he took Donkzig... Tuchola, which is a new province, and Chelmno, and he only got 22 A. Oh, and also Newmark, which is Lubuz. Yeah, that's not bad. Four provinces and only 22 AE. Whereas I took two provinces and I got 25 AE. But he had a mission for all that land anyway, so it's not, not much I can do about it. Oh, and Austria can demand this one, because this one's in the Empire. Ah, take that, Poland. Hey, Burgundy's coalition has fired. Does that mean Castile's involved? Yeah, Castile's involved. Alright, well that's going to delay... That is going to delay my war against Aragon even further. That's very unfortunate. Because right now... Castile's busy, so I can't do the war. And France is busy in a different war. Gosh darn it, I want to fight Aragon, but I can't. That's too bad. Oh, Ottoman's capital is about to fall. 14%. They don't have the walls busted, though, so it's going to go slow. Oh, Hungary just white-pieced out. Hungary, who had all of this land sieged, just white-pieced out. That's bullshit. His sieged lands should flip over to the war leader if he white-pieces out. They should. So instead of having all of this land sieged, it's now completely free. Oh, that's fucking retarded. And Hungary just left the war. He's just like, nah, I'm out. He was probably the only one who was guaranteed to get land in the peace deal, and now he got nothing because he left early. And he's not even, it's not like he's pressured by a second war. It's just the AI being stupid. Like I said, Twitch chat, keep me appraised of any patches that come out. Okay, the Ottomans were pieced out just for breaking an alliance. Yeah, coalition strong. But Castile, unfortunately, is going to get very weak from this war. Even if Castile helps Burgundy win, which I don't think he will... He's still going to be a lot weaker after this war. Because that's a big war. Let's take a look at it on the map. Yeah, that's a big war. Especially if England can land troops. If England can find a way to land troops in Calais or Co or something, that's going to really make it hard. A second coalition against Burgundy? He has one coalition attacking right now, and there's a second coalition forming. Wow. 
yeah, we could claim and eat French Comte, that's true, but he's allied to Castile, and I don't want to lose my alliance with Castile. But yeah, I should probably eat this. But France has a claim on it. I should still probably eat it. Alright, I'm going to fabricate on Switzerland first. But we'll come back to French Comte. I'll take a look at it. Basically what I want to do is I want to find the point where Castile will not join the war against me. There, there will be a breaking point where he will say, no, I'm not going to defend Burgundy, he's in too much ship. And when that point comes, that's when we can declare. I already took, I already looked extra evil and Castile would still help by a lot. 404, thanks for resubbing, man. Welcome back. Castile will join. We just checked that. And there you go. Full annexation of Grenada. So his first war is over. Unfortunately, it wasn't soon enough because he's already involved in this other shitty war. So he's going to be busy for a while. Yeah, the coalition against Burgundy is just getting bigger and bigger. Oh, and Bosnia and Serbia are kicking each other's asses. That looks fun. One of them shall rule them all. Another coalition against Burgundy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I should go ahead and fabricate on French Comte and we can declare a second coalition war. Well, I tell you something that's going to happen is he's going to lose these three personal unions. There's no way he's getting out of this with positive prestige. He's going to lose all of his prestige. He's going to lose all of his unions. It's going to be sad times in Burgundy. So how's the Golden Horde war against Muscovy doing? He's losing. Of course he's losing. Muscovy's kicking ass. Oh, and the walls have busted in Crimea. Okay, this could be the end of the war soon. Walls are now busted. Yep, the second Burgundian coalition has fired, and Castile joined the second war as well. England's landed troops? Hey, look at that. England landed troops. Nice. Good job, England. So let's take a look at Burgundy's war. <laughs> That's a big war. Even Bavaria, wow. And he still has... Yeah, Saxony could join the coalition. Let's see, who else could join? France could coalition him. Austria could coalition him. Anyone who's more than 30 could join. All of these little guys could join. And all he did was take three provinces. That's it. He took three provinces. All of a sudden he has this massive coalition. Poland next to Mazovia. Okay. Goodbye, Mazovia. Poland's going to move their capital to Warsaw soon. Yep, there you go. Poland's capital is now Warsaw. Let's go ahead and tech up, shall we? Ah, another big change in the DLC is your first idea group is no longer a tech 4, now it's tech 5. So it's going to take longer to get your first idea group if you're playing as a non-Western nation. Western nations, it doesn't really make a big difference, but if you're playing in like North America or China or something, it's going to take a lot longer to get that first idea group.
Yeah, I probably shouldn't even bother with French Comte because France has a claim there. And if France has a claim there, I don't want to have France eyeballing my land. Really, you guys abandoned your siege? Okay, welcome to the AI being stupid again. He had the uh, walls busted on Crimea, and they abandoned the siege for some reason. And the AI just does that all the time now in common sense. So hopefully they can fix that. Oh, there you go. Serbia ate half of Bosnia. Rip Bosnia. Alright, the war is over. White peace. That was the war. White peace. Wow. What a war. So let's see if France would be willing to help me against Aragon, because Castile sure as fuck can't. But we have to wait for France's troops to come home, because they're way over here. Hot fixes tomorrow. They're not going to release it today. Alright. So we'll play a few years today. No problem. Who called this common sense? Well... I believe the reason for calling it common sense was uh, this is the first major patch that Wiz has been involved with. In the past, it was Johan at the at the reins of EU4. That's transferred over to Wiz, and Wiz has a different idea for how the game should play. So this is the first major difference uh, between Johan's version of EU4 and Wiz's version of EU4, and he's trying to input all of these ideas all at once in one you know big patch. And the patch is big. Common sense is big. So the fact that so many things are different and the game still sort of works is good, but it's definitely far from perfect. They got a long way to go to fix a lot of things. Shit. Hey Glaive Master, welcome abroad. Thanks for subbing. Austria got a personal union over Hungary. Well, there you go. I wonder how long that's going to last. Wow. There you go. Austria-Hungary is now a thing. The problem is, if I can't get Castile to help me, how am I supposed to invade Aragon's islands? Well, you don't have to. This is something that's brand new. In this, in the common sense, you don't have to siege lands to take it in the peace deal. So for Aragon, if I declare war and all we do is we siege this part, just this, we can still demand the islands. Which is nice. I like that. Hi, Black Knighty. You got a 424 Regency? You're ridiculous. The last Regency I had was uh, 030. So screw you and your good Regency. <laughs> oh, and in yesterday's test game, we were playing as Ulm. France had an interregnum. In other words, he had a Regency, and during his Regency, the kid died. So France went into an interregnum, and his interregnum was so bad, it was a 100. It was awful. All right, France's troops are coming home. Let me check his manpower. I don't want him joining if he's too weak. I don't, I don't want him to join too soon, I mean. Uh, no, he's got tons of manpower. So we just need to wait for those 28,000 troops to come home. Oh, there's the third coalition, and Castile finally dishonored the call. So Burgundy's on their own. The third coalition has triggered, and Burgundy is on their Shit. own. Latia93, thanks for resubbing. Welcome back. All right, my aggressive expansion is almost gone. We're at zero with almost everyone. So it's a good time to go to war. Let's pull our diplomat, and let's take a look at who would join. Well, Austria and France would. That's important. Milan would not, because Milan likes our enemies. But hey, Austria and France 
that's probably all we're going to need. Uh, France, do you have any claims down here? You have one claim. I'd be fine giving you that claim. All right. Why don't we do it? And I'll declare for Brusalon. We'll get ticking war score. Slow down time. Let's go. And yeah, Austria, now that he has a union over Hungary, he's going to bring Hungary into this war too. And Austria has claims on Venice, so he'll want that land. There you go. Looks like a good war to me. Hey, Brittany just full axe Provence. Great. Oh, look, you've had, you've got a, an army there. That's adorable. I'm just gonna stand right here. Hey, our shitty heir is gonna die. Yes. Okay, please die. 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 Everyone send me your warm fuzzy feelings through Twitch right now. Please die. Please die. Yes. All right. Unfortunately, we lost stability cuz he was he died while he was sieging a province, but whatever. We'll just bump it back up. No problem. Now we just need a new baby. And what are we going to get? What kind of baby are we going to get? We're going to get uh, France's dynasty. Fine, I'll take France's dynasty. Whatever. Thank you, Twitch chat. Your warm fuzzies worked very well. Congrats on the death, Shen. Thank you, Ayub. <laughs> Ayub knows what's best for us. And that is death. Always death. Austria is kicking Venice around. Hungary is also kicking Venice around. So we should be able to piece Venice out somewhat soon. Just a couple provinces fall. He'll probably be at 10%. We can just white piece or take money or whatever. Hey, Carlo, a 232. You know what? That's better than a 320. I'll take it. Is he a strong claim? You bet your ass he's a strong claim. Very good. Just imagine the king scrambling. He's like, oh, my heir died. My heir died. What do I do? He's like, quick, fetch all the women. <laughs> Give me babies now. Looks like France wants to get Languedoc back. Portugal dropped off a few troops from a boat. Chagon Reister says, You're the best E4 player I ever saw. You have Quill, Rumba, Mathis, and Stuffs, but you are the most funny one. Don't quit. And I can't wait for you in the new house. I can't wait for me in the new house either. If YouTube isn't aware of it, I'm moving in a couple of weeks to Portland, Oregon. Uh, we're going to get attacked down here. France, come help. I'm moving to Portland, Oregon in a couple of weeks. Should I help in that battle? Nah, France is amazing. He'll win. And uh, it's going to be a different situation for me, obviously. Instead of living in an apartment building with a bunch of other people, I'm going to be living in a house with just a friend, which is fantastic. Yeah, France got it. Good job, France. Bawo says, "Grats on 1K viewers. Have the usual two. Do Thank you, Bawo. Yeah, since the since the patch came out a couple days ago, there's lots of people watching on Twitch, which is fantastic. Hey, we got a new cardinal. Go us. We have one active cardinal. Yay! All 
I'm going to give this as a target for Hungary. And I'm going to give this as a target for Austria. I don't mind them sieging Venice because it's close to them, but I want them to actually come help. And right now they're not doing that. Strength in numbers, baby. I'm kind of surprised France isn't just killing this 5 stack right here. He's going to go for the 10 stack, I guess. Yep, he's trying to. Interesting. Yes, quick fetch all the women, someone just tweeted. <laughs> and it worked, didn't it? Duke Ludovico I. It worked. He fetched all the women in the realm. He found uh, several who were ready to rock. And he has a baby now, Carlo. It worked. And yeah, Switzerland is just destroying Burgundy right now. Oh, we're under attack. In the mountains. Our general died, though, so we're going to have to rely on France showing up. Which he is. Easy battle, right? The Pope and next Urbino. Goodbye, Urbino. So the Papal State now looks more like its historical self. Yep, that's pretty close to historical Papal State. Unhappiness among the clergy. Gain prestige. I like prestige. I wonder why France isn't helping right now. He could easily help me, we could win this battle, no problem, and instead he's standing here with 21,000 troops not doing anything. Oh, now he's gonna come in. Too late for me, though. France, you're an idiot. So we just lost all of that siege progress because the AI was stupid. And this is another thing that I hope they patch because that was an easy victory for us, and instead we lost all of our siege progress just because the AI had made a bad choice. All right. I guess we'll stay home for a little while. No, we won't. I'm not going to give up on that siege. What I should do, though, is I should leave some of the damaged troops home to heal up. And we can pull them forward uh, as the siege progresses. Oh, Muscovy's kicking the Golden Horde's ass. Well, it looked like Muscovy was a, a lame duck in this run, but it turns out they're not. It turns out Muscovy is pretty strong. Are you fucking kidding me? Switzerland, you dickhole. Switzerland forced Castile to break his alliance with me. So I can't, I can't get an alliance with Castile for 10 years now. Switzerland, you just are the worst. The worst. What a cold-hearted, brutish thing to do. I can't believe Switzerland did that. That jerk. That jerk. I'm gonna slurp my coffee. Oh, did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. If you didn't, go back just a couple seconds on the YouTube video. 
and take a look what happened. France fought Portugal. Portugal lost. Portugal had the envelope, which is the Shattered Retreat. So Portugal was Shattered Retreat into Perigord, and then he decided, oh, I'm not going to Shattered Retreat to Perigord anymore. Somehow the Shattered Retreat canceled, and then they fought a second battle the next day, and it was insta-crushed. And that is a very bad bug, so hopefully they fix that. Surprised none of Venice's provinces have fallen yet. Very surprising. They will. Maybe that's what I should focus on. Now, if I focus on Venice, I won't be able to uh, get any of my target land. I could focus on Florence. Let's go to Florence. I just want to push somebody out of the war. Alright, so Venice has had a couple things sieged. Uh, this one is claimed by Austria, and I don't think he's willing to give it up just yet, but let's find out. If Austria wants that, I'll give it to him. No, he won't, he won't give it up yet. Maybe soon, though. We'll keep an eye on it. If we can get that to give Austria, that'd be great. Oh, look at this. Lorraine Separatists. So there's no longer Patriot and Nationalist Rebels. Now there's only Separatists. And they all have the old Nationalist flag. This little flag icon. Uh, and these Rebels will spawn for giving land back to another nation or for creating a new nation. They'll spawn for both reasons. And it's, they just have the same flag. But yeah, they are a little buggy. So you got to be careful with them. He's not even close to giving that up. Go siege a couple more provinces. Might be enough to piece them out. I'm just looking for provinces that have no fort. Because those will siege very quickly. Yeah, I'll siege those. Oh, we lost the Siege of Pisa because fucking Hungary stepped off this fortress. And welcome to the fort mechanics being stupid. So since, since my ally is the one sieging the fort, he is in control over whether I keep these sieges. As dumb as that sounds, I lose my sieges if my ally steps off this tile. And it's really, it's really annoying because I have no control over what my ally does. You know? He can just step off the tile whenever he wants to. Alright, let's go force Venice out of this war.
Oh, cool. Wall's busted. Uh, I will send a soldier to preserve that. And yes, I know the timer's done, but we're going to go for a little while here. I should be able to get Venice out of the war. Oh, I can humiliate as well, because he's a rival. Oh, yeah, I want that power projection. Give it to me, baby. France is winning that, even though he's outnumbered by 15,000. Awesome. Alright, this should be very quick and easy here. The one thing we can't do is we cannot siege his capital. We cannot siege Venice. We can't get there because his navy is blocking us. But we knew that would be the case. I'm surprised Venice will not take a 40% peace deal. We own everything in his land except Ragusa and his capital, and he won't take a 40% peace deal. That's pretty amazing. And there's no way we can get to Venice. There's just none. How is that only 36 war score? How's that only 36 war score? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to go get Rusulon sieging. That's our target province. So that needs to fall. Ragusa will fall. Oh, France is already there. Damn it. Alright, we'll siege Girona. There goes Venice. There we go. And Muscovy just ate a whole bunch of the Golden Horde. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five provinces. Okay. Too bad we didn't get to Rusalon first. Only 39 war score on Venice. That's just sad. Alright, why don't we call this episode here? Because it looks like it's going to go for a little while. Let's call this episode here. We'll come back next time for uh, the continuation of this wonderful war against Aragon. Uh, we're going to have to get relations up with Castile because I want him to rejoin the alliance as soon as our our timer is up, which is going to be 1466, another eight years. But I'll have to wait till next time. I'll see you then. Have a good day. Oh, God, look at Burgundy. Poor Burgundy.